Hello everyone, my name is John Minisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I'm going to teach you on how to create this wonderful painting. Okay, so I am going to paint snow on the on today's tutorial. So I'm going to put, I think, a barn and a gate on the front of a uh, painting. Okay, so but before that, I am going to introduce to you first my materials. I will be using limited colors in my palette. I have here the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you also observe guys that I'm only using limited colors in my palette because. I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay. And these are my brushes. Okay, this will be my this will be the brushes that I'm going to use guys. Here. So I will be using the number eleven nylon flat brush, the number eleven frizzle flat brush, number Eight nylon flat brush. It's all long handled, and I have here the number six um, nylon flat brush, short handled. The number two nylon round brush, short handled. And number one um, liner brush for the details. Okay. And this is my canvas, guys. It's eight by. 12 inches is a three cut prime white acrylic. You can also use gesso. I made it myself. And water to thin the paint. And water spray, guys. If ever we're gonna need that. Okay, so I think I'm going to start now and I'm going to um, do first. Okay, guys, so I, um, um, since our background is already white so I think I just have to put a little colors in it okay we just we do, we do not need to cover everything because it's only already white okay so I am going to use first this number 11 nylon flat brush long handled and let's use the white and with a little amount of yellow so if you are painting with me guys, just follow what I'm doing today, or to this, this time. So here, I'm just gonna put some, a little amount of yellowish color here. So it's, uh, I think it's, um, I'm going to make it uh, a morning scene guys. That's why I'm going to make it, to make the um, sunlight a little yellowish, just a little yellowish color. There. That's it. I'm going to add more yellow. And with the red. No, just yellow. Just a little amount of red, guys, to make it orange. And with some more white. There. So let's add more yellow. Yellowish here. Or a little orange here. So you don't have to make it. Perfect guys, just blend it on your canvas. Just like what I'm doing. There. Just have to glaze it to make it to have a, a yellow stone on our on this part of our painting. There. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to mix for a bluish um, gray. So I told you guys uh, basically that um, snow scenes have really a bluish, grayish tone on it. There, you can barely see green on the on the, on the snows on the snow landscapes. So I think we're gonna need 
I don't need to put green on it. Okay. So I'm going to use the blue, of course, here with a little amount of black. Just um, make it a little uh, grayish, guys, not bluish. Yeah, there. I'm going to add some white to make it um, lighter. There. Then let's put it here. This will be a background forest. Then I think we need a uh, spray, guys, so that you can have a, a better blendings. There. And here also. There. This will be some distant trees, guys, on the background. So guys, you do not need to emphasize this part because um, later we're gonna cover it with some more details. And I do not waste, I do not want to waste our time, guys, just to emphasize this part, and and yet you just have to cover it. There. Well, let's assume that the, let's just assume that these are trees on the background, some misty trees or. Yeah, something like that. Misty. There. So all you have to do is just blend the background. Something like this. And also a little on this part. There. I think this is a pretty easy tutorial, guys. I, I really recommend this for the begin beginners, and don't be don't afraid to 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 try new things. Okay, here is that for uh, bluish color. There and also here. So we have to just play in the colors here. Just play in the colors. There. That's it. And let's use some white. And let's put some a little white here. There. This will be some tree leaves, guys, with snow. So we'll just use the pure white. There. I told you guys we will cover this later. But I think I still need to put it a little. Just a little. There. And I need to refill my white paint. I'm using ribs actually. There. So I need to add more snow. There. Just do it slowly. Yeah. Also here. That's it. So we can see now that this part is a little yellowish because it's from the sun sunrise. Yeah. Should be a little yellowish, okay. And I think we're gonna put the barn here, yeah, just a small barn, yeah. And I'm going to use a smaller brush, which is the this number six nylon pot brush short handle. So I am going to use this black here 
with a very little amount of blue and mix it with your existing color to make it um, gray yes then let's paint a part yeah I think here So all you have to do now is just put, make it um, gray, yes. Okay. But I think I'm gonna make it uh, red, guys. Because I like red. or brown or uh, something like that but we're gonna need to put some white with a little yellow color yeah on the roof of that barn here no I think not maybe on the other side so it's just a thick snow guys Very thick no snow. Okay, so I think I'm going to mix it with a little gray yes here. Okay, so yeah. So there's since there are no lights on this part, so make it gonna make it a little gray yes. it so we have now the small barn and I think I'm gonna mix for a brown color yeah just use this red here and with a little black and white no I mean yellow and I'm going to put some white and more yellow there So let's put a little brown on our part. There. Okay. Let me get a little brownish. And I'm going to add more white on the brown color to add a little details. So I think I'm going to put um, a door, something like that. Yeah. And some more details like this. Yeah, I like this. Okay, that's it. Ah, the telephone is ringing. There. Okay, so it's now a part. Yeah. Okay. So, just one more. I'm going to add a chimney on this part there okay and a white color on top of the chimney there that's it 
And now next we're gonna need to put um yeah we're gonna need to continue and we to add some more dark tones yeah and I'll be using this the same brush guys I think a smaller brush I'll be using this brush now the number eight flat brush it's smaller and I'm gonna use the black here I'm gonna mix it with existing bluish color so black and white yeah, with some blue here, and some more black and blue. So I'm going to put some tree guys on this part in there. Okay. Yeah, some darker tones. Yeah, I think a pine tree. Yeah, yeah um, just to have a uh, little darker tones here, guys. Anyway, we, get, we we need to we just have to to cover this part later here. No need to worry, guys. Okay. Now I'm going to use I'm going to add some white here on the grayest color here and let's put some snow there I'm going to wait, uh, I'm going to add a, a, a little blue color guys bluish on the snow I am using the number 8 flat brush there and also here we got something also in the back there so we need to clean our brush and we're going to use this color here some yellowish color there and let's put some reflection oh no I mean uh, highlights in this tree here just do it carefully guys and put it on the right side there It. and also the other one here so we're gonna, we're going to put a uh, little sorry a little yellow is here to make it look like a, a light from the sun there make it a little yellowish yellow is with more white there Now I think I'm going to put more bigger trees guys on the, this front here. Yeah. 
and also here so I think we need to cover that part so that's why so I'm going to use more darker bluish color so here I am mixing some blue and black but I still need to add some white to make it not so dark there Okay, so I am using the number 11 bristle flat brush guys and here you can start putting some huge trees in our front so I'm going to use need to paint a huge tree here with a big leaves there big dark leaves here So we can just have to use the topping or punching technique guys. There. Okay. So okay, there. Okay, so yeah, and also here, guys, I'm going to put a, a pine tree. So I think I'm going to paint first the the. I forgot to paint first the um. Uh, tree trunks so I'll be using this color again with some more black darker so this will be the tree trunk here a big tree trunk And you do not need to make it perfect guys yeah. Now I need to add more black It's very wet Also we need to add some um, tree here small trees there trees with no leaves And also here I'm going to put some pine trees I think on this part Yeah And here also There Okay So using this black color, I'm going to, I'm going to add uh, bigger trees there, here. Yeah, I think we just have to cover some parts here, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just ruined everything. Okay. What 
also so I think also here guys I think one here You just have to make it look like a forest. Okay. And most of the trees have no leaves. Yeah, because it's winter. Okay. Yeah, I think I like that. And I think also here, I'm gonna need to put more. here I think I think we, uh, I'm going to cover some more parts here guys okay yeah and I'm going to use again this the uh, bristle brush and let's put um, a tree here pine tree here there just use the tip of your brush guys there to create the leaves of the pine trees and I'm using the same color the bluish dark color there we have now pine trees and also here okay guys you can use a pond brush add more a little dark tones here to make this um, look like more of a forest it's not a forest is not a real clean you should not paint uh, a really clean um, landscape so we need to add a little dark more dark tones to make it look like a uh, look realistic there here there Add more. I'm going to use some black, and I think I'm going to put more pine trees here. Okay. And add more dark here. it and I'm gonna use this black with some more blue and let's paint some more pine trees here this time it's way darker okay black and blue Again, guys, just use the topping or punching technique.
Okay. So I'm just adding more leaves on this pine tree, guys. Adding more block. Okay, and I'm going to add one more pine tree here. There. Okay. Okay, so I think also here to add one more. not too much guys do not cover everything there I need to use the, some black here guys to create some more darker tones there and you just use the topping or punching technique there okay So that's it. Okay, so I think we need to put some more, put some, put some snow, yeah. And I'll be using first this white here with some blue. So just white and blue, guys. This will be the part where no light at all. So here is add a little there. That's it. Do not overdo it guys. Always remember that always put on the top of the darks. And also here. And here, here, here. Just one one drop of paint there 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 and here and here there there yeah that's it and here 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 okay so do not overdo it always remember that here here just put it on top of the dark backgrounds like that dark greenish color i mean gray grayish color here And let's put over here. Also here. And I think I'm gonna need to put um, some shadows here. I'm going to put more later there. Okay. And also here. And also this one. And I put a little there. Okay, just stopping guys or punching. Here. Again guys, do not overdo it, do not put anything or everything, just leave some more dark backgrounds, there, there, and also here. it 
over here. Okay, so as you see guys, there are still some dark parts, background, so you do not need to put everything in there. Okay, so I think that looks realistic now. So sorry guys, I did not zoom in some of the, my video, so just a small painting guys, so I think it doesn't need to, to zoom out or zoom in. Uh, you can still see clearly even if I didn't zoom it or I uh, zoom it. Okay. Okay, so what else? Okay, so I think I'm going to continue more. So I think it's time to put some highlights on the three leaves. So I'm using the same brush and some white pens, pens and some yellow color. So just add some yellow guys. There and more yellow. Yellow and white. And let's put some highlights here. There. Just white and yellow guys on the highlights. And put it on the right side. There. Okay, and here a little, just a little. Okay, and here. There. Okay, but I think I'm going to shift for a smaller push, but yeah. Let's continue here. There. Okay, that's it. What else? Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to add more uh, trees. So I'll be using this grayish color here. I'm going to add a tree here, a bigger tree. But there, uh, but no. Yeah. There. And I'm gonna. I'm not going to put some. So I'm gonna put some. Branches. I'm not going to put some leaves, guys, on this tree. There. Okay. I'm going to use the black. Okay, and I'm going to put one more tree, a bigger tree here. Yeah. Bigger tree with no leaves. Okay. 
Yeah, I like that. And also, we need to add more details here. There. To add more um, small trees. So since this is a forest guys, so it is expected to have more trees, lots of trees, small and big trees, there. I think we need one more okay, here. There. this white here with some blue and let's put some snow guys on the there okay and also here put some snow okay so we're gonna put some shadow guys here on this tree and also here some shadows and put more shadows there just use the this color guys the bluish color to create the shadows and here okay and we use I'm going to use this white here with some yellow. There. So I think I'm going to put a little um, lights here, guys. I'm going to put some light um, highlights here. So we cannot separate those some twigs or small trees here also and here there. And of course here, guys. Okay. 
Let's put some a little reflections here. No, uh, highlights. Sorry. Here also. Just use the white and the uh, yellow, guys. So make sure, make sure of that color. Here. There. I'm going to add more, and more white. Yeah. yeah that looks nice and the last part guys I'm going to put um, a gate yeah it will be my last okay I think this will be a gate for uh, from the barn, yeah, for the barn, yeah. And I'm going to use this black with a little red and yellow to make it brown. More red and a little yellow. No, oh, no black. Oh, no blue. I'm sorry. here I'm going to put an old gate there there or a fence guys Okay, and some small tweaks here, and also here. I'm also going to put one here. It's an old fence. Here. I do not know where this fence is going, guys. I'm not really sure. It's an old fence, and it's with some small tweaks here. There. Ok. 
Okay. Yeah. And let's put um, some shades. Yeah. I'm going to use this bluish color here. And let's put a little shades between the twigs. There, just a little. There. Okay. And some shadow was using this color here. And using this color guys with some blue I'm going to put some highlights here no it's a uh, way to put some snow I mean some snow guys on top of the fence It should be thick enough. There. And also here. Let's put a little something here, there. So a little uh, snow. Okay. And of course, guys, you should not forget the highlights. I'm going to use the white here. We need some yellow, yellow, just a little amount of yellow. Yes, here. There. Here. There. There is some snow on the top of the the fence here also there okay Okay. I'm going to retouch a little guys. Something is wrong here. There. Okay, so I think I'm going to add more snow. Just use the white here and the blue. I'm going to put more snow here. on these trees
and I'm going to edit that some more guys I'm going to add more snow white here I'm just adding more thick paints thick white to cover some yellowish color the yellowish color becomes a little greenish so I'm going to cover it with some white here okay Just adding more white, more white paints, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm almost done. And here guys I'm going to put some white to create some more highlights for the sun there okay okay that looks nice I like the result more thick paints here Okay guys, so I think I am done with my simple painting tutorial on how to paint a snowy forest with a barn. Okay, so and also a gate, a gate or a fence, yeah, something like that. Okay guys, so I want to say thank you so much for watching today and if you are painting with me now, just follow what I did in the video. And my advice guys is to keep on practicing, keep on painting, the more you, the more you know how to use your brush and the more, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That way, that's why I'm using the colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay guys, uh, please hit like, add some comments and subscribe for more videos in the future. Once again, thank you very much. Have a nice day and God bless you all.